Hello, I'm Leona Dooley and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time in the kitchen. Well, tonight my hubby has a terrible cold. And so I decided that I would prepare something that would be soothing to his stomach. And you know, I, I love reading that book that's called Chicken Soup for the Soul. But I also know that whenever I had a cold, my mom would always prepare some type of chicken soup or um, chicken and dumplings, something with chicken because it, it was brothy and um, it was just very soothing going down the throat. So that's exactly what we're going to do tonight, soothing chicken with light dumplings. There are just some things that absolutely drive you crazy. I'm going to have to shoot this portion over again, so I need to run through what I have done here. Because when I got ready to stop it for the sake of our two-hour uh, period for it to simmer, it said, warning, the video is not going to be saved. Huh, what were they thinking? So, I have in here our trinity of onions carrots, and celery, and I sauteed those. I cut up about half of a rotisserie chicken, very small. I added in the some of its skin because that's going to impart some of the flavor over these next couple of hours. I added in two and a half boxes of chicken stock, and then I put in at least a teaspoon of oregano, oregano, sage, thyme, and uh, I did about a tablespoon of parsley. I also put in a pinch of saffron, and uh, I am covering this up, and I am going to let this simmer for two hours. And I apologize for the fact that I lost that part of the video, but you know what? It just, I don't I don't know I don't know what happened. So, you know, we have to deal with the technology. So, top on my Crofton razor. The temperature is on low, and I'll be back in two hours to finish this up. Well, I have been simmering our um, chicken broth now for about two and a half, almost three hours. And um, on kind of a medium low temperature. So I have just turned it up and I want to bring this to a nice boil because I'm going to try today because I don't have time. It's a Sunday. And uh, I'm going to try a fat-free, cholesterol-free dumpling. And it's called McLibs. And uh, they work just like pasta. And uh, the normal cooking time is about anywhere from 6 to 10 minutes. And uh, so I'm able to bring this to a boil, add the dumplings and stirring occasionally. And... Uh, the dumplings should be fine. I know I won't need this entire box, but I should be able to put a couple handfuls of the of the dumplings in. I'm going to break them into one inch pieces so that um, each of the dumplings has a nice texture and size in the mouth. Well, while this is coming up to temperature, I'm going to add a few uh, peas. I told you I like peas in my um, dumplings. I like to get those vegetables in because this is one of those one bowl situations. There we go. We got our few peas, about a cup. And that's all we need. Here are the dumplings. I'm going to take about uh, the first dip section of my thumb 
There's one, two, and that's how I'm going to break them off. And they should come out pretty light. Like I said, these are neck lips. Oops. Ugh. I uh, drop, dropped a few. That's okay. I've got plenty. I'm not going to go overboard with these because I want to uh, have them, but I don't want to have too many. And they will soak up a lot of the liquid. So I'm just going to stir, put a few in and stir. Let them get started. It's like pasta. You don't want them to stick together. They're nice and hot. And we don't want to end up with a pot of only uh, dumplings. And we keep stirring because we don't want them to stick. And they will do that. When they float to the top, then you know they're done. Now, I meant to mention, you see this spoon, how it has that flat end on the bottom? What I do is that I stand it up, put it on the bottom of the pot, and go back and forth. And the reason for that is that if there's anything on the bottom, any bit of the dumpling, you and you definitely don't want any of that on the bottom, they will not stick because you're constantly stirring and you're scraping anything that may touch that bottom off because you do want this liquid to stay absolutely hot. And like I said, we're going to do this for at least 10 minutes. It's going to take that long for those dumplings to cook. The water is extremely hot. And uh, we're just going to continue. And as I find little bits, remember I left the chicken skin in. So as I find those little bits of chicken skin, I'm going to eliminate those. Remember I told you I'd go back in. And as I find the skin, I'll take it out. But the skin has imparted lots of flavor. Okay, our chicken and dumpling is at a nice boil. You can see that those noodles are moving very easily, our dumplings. So uh, this is gonna be very special and I think it will be great chicken soup for his soul. And in this case, it's gonna be chicken and dumplings for his soul. So I hope you will fix some for your family. You don't have to be sick. In order to in order to prepare it but certainly if you are it will make you feel better look at that there's our dumplings you can see the colors and being that he's a, a liquid kind of guy I usually add quite a bit of liquid in for him because that's because that's what he likes and this is very, very hot. So he's going to be ready for some good hot chicken soup. So I'm going to turn this down because everything's ready. And all the dumplings are prepared. They are nice and tender. And uh, nothing stuck. So we are good to go. So there's our, our dumplings for the evening. And uh, I hope you will have a blessed and happy time with your family. I'll see you later in the kitchen.
hearty chicken and dumpling soup for a cold day. Stop by, we've got plenty. I'll see you soon.